will find the parent for this element which will be this yeah. if they are same they are in the same set and while you are traversing this path you will update the parent to the new parent yes. ok same thing for this one so if you see none of the edges would be visited again traversed again because those edges are not deleted and every node is in that path is made a direct children of child of the uh, root itself yeah so they won't have to travel that path again so that path is traveled only once the intermediate nodes. See, what what he's trying to say is that if this is a path, if there are thousand vertices in this, so if there is a query of the thousand vertex in this, we, we, we will never visit the, these come directly for these one thousand. If there is a one thousand one th element here, we might visit it again for this. But then also, you will go to this and its parent. So this particular all the path is just you know vanished coordinate on spots this is an exercise problem we are not discussing that in here in the class move on to one of the most uh, used data structure i mean uh, to saw this particular data structure is used for queries uh, to answer queries and generally uh, the problems uh, goes into the harder category i mean if you solve a problem using this data structure that's rated a bit uh, hard so let's start with the problem. The problem is that we are given an array. At any instant, you are required to tell that in an interval, in a subsequence of this particular array, from i to j, what is the minimum element? So in other words, it's a range, in a range, minimum query called RMQ range minimum query so this is an array and suppose from the index i to j amongst all the elements uh, between i to j what is the minimum element you have to report that and suppose there are 1 lakh queries you have to answer 1 lakh such queries you have to answer in this particular uh, array this is not a static array this is a dynamic array so there are two operations basically either you have to report the minimum element between the elements i and j or there is an update operation where i uh, update i means that i j means that uh, index uh, update i j means that array of i is equal to j basically you update the value of the ith element as j and again you have to maintain the invariant that you have to answer the query and these update operations and the query operations are intermingled I mean, to answer such query we use segment trees at some places it's called interval trees the term is I mean a bit exchangeable so so I'll give you an idea how to proceed let's assume that we want save the result for every interval suppose this number is this number is 16 the array length is 16 so I will tell that ok I will save the result for 16 that is the, for the full array what is the minimum what is the minimum for the uh, first half of the array and the uh, second half of the array and similarly consider this as an array and divide it into two equal parts divide into two equal parts and so on so if it has been 32 so this 32 the top node will have two children first will signify the first 16 the second will signify the other 16 and again you can consider it to be an another array this is a rec recursive data structure same structure 8 8 and so on so so let's assume we have uh, i mean i'll come uh, how to uh, i mean come back to how to create this array and uh, as of now we assume that okay this particular structure has been created and for each particular node we know the minimum and this minimum signifies that in this particular range like for this it will be 1 to 4 and this will be 5 to 6 so if uh, 5 to 8 sorry so if there is a query minimum in 5 to 8 we, are, we have to answer 
this particular we can directly answer from this particular node okay so once this data structure is created you can answer the queries for this for those particular intervals which we have already which which are the part of this interval tree now how to uh, do it for i mean general case suppose the query is from 3 to 11 we have to answer the uh, minimum element from 3 to 11 so this is a 16 array so we will break this particular 3 to array range into 3 to 8 and 9 to 11 now 3 to 8 will exist in this particular array this particular node and sorry and 9 to 11 will occur in this so if we somehow know the minimum of between 3 to 8 and 9 to 11 we'll take the minimum of these two and we can get the minimum for this array is it okay I mean, if you have any problem between a, just uh, i mean interrupt me at that point so you break this range into this these two and i have told you that this is a recursive data structure again this can be dealt as a same as we have dealt it uh, at the upper level so at this level we we will proceed with first with this particular uh, range and then with this particular range you go to 3 to 8 in this this will be broken into 3 to 4 and 5 to 8 is it fine now 3 to 4 is already a range in this 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 so you, you can directly take the answer of 3 to 4 you have a range 5 to 8 you take this answer 5 to 8 3 to 4 You get an answer for three to eight. You get an answer for three to eight. Similarly, for nine to eleven, you you will have to break it as nine to ten and eleven to eleven. These two ranges. You take the minimum of these two. You get the minimum for nine to ten. Then again, you have the minimum for three to eight. You have the minimum for nine to eleven. You take the minimum. You get the minimum for three three to eleven range. so uh, uh, like likewise any any of uh, any uh, any other range can be solved likewise you so you break them into intervals such that that particular range uh, lies in uh, in the node of this structure wherever you can process it okay now what Sorry, it needs comparison. Yeah. So I mean, typically what you will do is that you will call a function for this. Find get a minimum, call a function for this, find a minimum, take the minimum of these two and return it to the upper uh, above level. So uh, this is the very very basic of interval trees. I'll be covering how to construct such an such a structure and how to insert. Or, or delete elements in this structure so uh, basically to create uh, such a structure here like the array size wa was the element which we were uh, according to which we were dividing suppose the array size is n so we divide this into two halves of n by 2 n by 2 each and then again n by 4 n by 4 why are we uh, doing it uh, i mean why are we choosing the factor of 2 because we want to keep both of the sides i mean both of its children of equal size this uh, you will understand when we will calculate the time complexity of this so we can look it as a also look it as a complete binary tree kind of a structure so each node each node will have a node star left and a node star right that is the left child the pointer to the left child and the pointer to the right child 
and any information which you want to associate like each interval will have minimum um, uh, what is the minimum for this particular range similarly they can be other things like this particular problem can be it can be minimum it can be maximum it can be the sum of elements in that particular range you can extend it so all this particular elements uh, you create the structure node how to construct it you just write a, write a function make tree in the make tree what you do is you pi, pass the array uh, array size so you have a signature which returns a pointer to such a node and you pass the root of the tree root pointer and the range which you are covering so initially if you are constructing it for an array of size n you send a range as uh, 1 to n so the low will be 1 and the high will be n at each step uh, when you are constructing what you will do is you will calculate the mid, mid that is uh, low plus high by 2 uh, construct the tree for low uh, this mid low comma mid and mid plus 1 comma high so this is the partition phase you have taken a range divided into two equal ranges call the function for this particular range now this goes on in, uh, in recursion and when, when you will come back this particular function will return you the uh, return you the node basically so if you are call, called for the left uh, left subtree it will return to you, you the pointer to that node and you can uh, write tree left is equal to this particular node so this way you can construct it for the minimum of course at any stage you construct it for the left subtree for the right subtree you know you can access the left subtree via tree uh, arrow left you uh, access the minimum of tree arrow left you access the minimum of tree arrow right and take the minimum of those two and update the present minimum at this particular node and return this node back this is way you, uh, this is the way you can implement it and any update operation if it's going on that can be handled like this so suppose there is an update the signature would be something like this so in an update what will happen is that you will have a position which is which you are going to update right now you will change that value to something and this low high range will remain the same so uh, what I am trying to emphasize is that this tree structure the division is built on the array size it's not built on any value or position so you'll have to send like 1 comma n every time the factor on which you have built this division because you have the access to these intervals only is that clear so basically I'm talking about a single value right now they can be intervals which could be inserted in this interval tree in that case there will be like interval of from i to j but this low high high has nothing to do with this these i, I to j we this low high will depend on the array size so we'll when we'll while inserting this particular element we'll do is like suppose this position is 5 we are updating it to 10 so what we'll do is we'll quickly figure out obviously this particular 5 will be a part of this whole big array so if it's this particular value is getting updated this particular interval will obviously get updated so there are two ways either you update it directly whatever minimum is written if this value is less than that you can update the minimum or other ways you can 5 will be in the left subtree you proceed to the left subtree update the left subtree and while returning back you can update the uh, this top level so for 5 what you will do is this 16 array 
We'll calculate the mid. 